Need some new practice math to help you warm up and get better at the game? Well, look no further, my friends. You know why? Because we got you covered. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. I want to let you know right now, do not give up. Do not surrender. I don't care how many times you've messed up. I don't care how many times you made mistakes. I don't care how many times you've fallen down. I don't care if the world is against you. You got to keep going. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep striving because this is your year. I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. I'm posting up vids to inspire you to do the impossible because that's what it's all about, doing the impossible. In today's video, Video, we're gonna bring you a mix of five creative levels perfect for practice before hopping into a real match. These levels, my friends, have plenty of the latest designs, you know, made to help you with aiming, editing, and a bunch of other important skills and scenarios, you know, the ones that you're gonna run into when you play Battle Royale. For raw improvement, these are the newest levels that are gonna give you guys some amazing results. As always, we'll put the map codes in creators' videos in the description for your convenience. All right, so before we dive into this, don't forget to use code PROGUIDES in the item shop to support us. Also, if you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then you gotta click the link below to go to ProGuides.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides and we're gonna get you a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you guys wanna compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuides Dot com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support. We strive to bring you guys the best available content. All right, guys, it's about that time. Sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Even if you can't get it, try to get it. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. First, for training that ever important clutch factor, okay, we've got Salaj's aim facility. We had an absolute blast on this one, man. Exercising our aim. Whew. It's an astonishing eight in one level with a variety of courses that you can choose from. It took Salaj like two months of work to make this map. Wow. And it shows like with how feature packed it is. When you load in and start the game, you can turn and change the background color if you want, for preference. To select a course, shoot at the play buttons in the hub and you're gonna transport there. If you played any aim training before, you probably recognize the classics here. For instance, tile frenzy or reaction shooting, but in it are also many new and interesting designs you gotta check out, like popcorn. In it, a bunch of ballers bouncing around for you to shoot at, wow. It's the perfect drill for beginner level tracking. And if you look at the wall and select the sky ballers button, it's gonna change it so that ballers drop down on you from above. This helps you get better at vertical aiming, which is so awkward and different when compared to how you traditionally aim, right? As a challenge, what we like to do is turn on one HP ballers and try to hit each one as they come down. It's not the easiest thing to do, but once you start to improve in speed and accuracy, you can hit every single baller before they explode. Now, what we absolutely love about this map is the score function. You know, by pressing the start game buttons found all over some of the courses, you can play a mini game where you have 30 or 60 seconds to hit as many targets and go for a high score. Each target gives a point and every miss takes away. So you got to be careful, guys. Please be careful. Both speed and accuracy play a role. You can compete against your friends, the leaderboard, you know, your grandma. No, that, that wouldn't be fair. Don't do that. And you can even play against yourself as well, <laughs> which you should definitely be doing if you're looking to improve. Just don't play against your grandma. That may set you back. Set a score and try to improve it. That's going to give you a sense of progression with your aim training that makes practicing all that much more enjoyable. And a fair warning, okay? Bugs exist in creative. <laughs> and often the tile frenzy targets, zombies, and other things don't load properly. Don't blame Salaj, guys. It's not Salaj's fault. Please don't do that. It's just a bug that happens with creative. Like the tile frenzy targets should be these red circles. But occasionally, occasionally, they appear as these weird little door looking things that you just can't shoot with numbers on them. If that ever happens to you, press escape and head back to the hub immediately. Select a different portal to load the map again and hopefully things should work out fine on the second try. Now, once your aim is feeling kind of spicy, you know, you can move on to Raider's advanced edit course. We all know Raider. If you don't, he's one of the most cracked editors out there, man. Seriously, you guys need to watch him play like now. Well, not now because you need to watch the rest of this video. But yeah, like later, later now. Yes, he is so blazing fast. I mean, you could blink one time and you're going to miss like five edits. He makes me want to say my two favorite words together. Holy moly. Anyway, he used his expertise to make a course perfect for working on those advanced edits. This level is purely for training your edits, okay? A bunch of different ones, all right? So, no bots to shoot at or any Amy exercises you need to worry about. But that's ideal. It keeps the course simple and focused. And edit repetition is honestly what most players need anyway. You know, especially if they're trying to use the new edit on release setting this season. Even though you're not going to be shooting at anything, make sure you take a weapon or two so you can just practice swapping to them in between edits, as you would be in a real situation, right? The map already has a bunch of structures conveniently set up for us. Start with whichever edit you like, and take those paddle launchers when it wants you to start up top. 
Once you've grinded to the point like where you've made every edit and the map is sucked dry, you can just, you know, of course, open the menu and end the game for another go. We know that some of these edits are pretty tough, and that's the truth. So if you're having trouble and keep messing up, all right, just do yourself a favor and just slow it down. And remember, you got this. Stop being so hard on yourself. Be encouraged. You got this, all right? If you try to make every edit too quickly, you're not going to learn what mistakes you're making. So if you start learning them slowly, it's going to be a lot easier to figure out things like, oh, this is how I move my crosshair for this one. Or like, oh, Okay, well, I guess that's the button order I got to press. So once you get the hang of it at a slower pace, then you can start speeding things up a bit. You know what I mean? Just take your time. It's a journey. It's a process. That's how editing is, really. You know, when you think about it, we're adjusting and moving our crosshair mostly based on where a character is positioned. The pieces themselves don't move and are usually right in front of us. So it's not too reactionary. Just a lot of pattern learning. You know, that's what makes this so crucial to take your time and just go through them slowly so you can learn the patterns first and then work on speed later. Up next, we've got a short warm-up level with a lot of variety to mix things up. Tito's Chapter 2 Warm-Up. This new creative course walks you through a ton of practical situations and it helps you improve on the techniques that, you know, odds are you're going to be using in a real match. Moves such as wall replacing, tunneling, and side jumps, to name a few. Oh, and uh, plenty of uh, regular edits and aiming exercises also. Oh, and uh, also, you know, the map is fitted with plenty of water that'll accustom you to building and shooting while your character swims. You can start off by picking your weapons at the spawn, right? Press the little buttons to cycle through items so you can use whatever you like. Then go to the normal course starting area, shoot the button to begin the timer, and run through the course. It's nice because, you know, plenty of the map is randomized, which helps to keep the course fresh and base more on reactions than memorization. Of course, since it's time, you can compete against your own scores or your friends to track your progress and make it more thrilling. Overall, you know, Tito's course is a fantastic all-in-one level you can just run through quickly for a nice blend of practice. Oh, and uh, by the way, the Halloween theme you see at the spawn, that's also amazing too. A nice little spooky addition for the time of the year. All right, so before we move on, a quick heads up. The next couple of maps can't be played solo, all right? So you're going to need two or more players to experience these fully. So try to bring your friends in it. If people in your friend group are too casual or maybe not as interested in, like, improving, you can always queue into Playground with Phil on for some random players. But if you rather not rely on randoms playing the mode you want, the next best thing is to find eager opponents on Enigma's Discord. All right, so Enigma's Discord server is our favorite place to find players. And join lobbies for modes like Zone Wars, Box Fighting, and even 1v1s. In it, you can join others asking for players or even host your own lobby. There's also a handy bot you can add to your friends list that makes joining different lobbies a breeze. Click the Discord link in the description and follow the instructions it gives you to set up. If you're looking for an authentic Zone Wars experience, the one we all know and love from Season X is back. Zero's Vortex Zone Wars, now finally updated for Chapter 2. With the better moving zone, you know, the right loot pool, and a whole lot of other improvements. This one was our favorite of the Zone Wars LTMs, as I'm sure it was for a lot of you guys too. The design is perfection, man. Not too crazy, not too plain, and the right amount of RNG to keep it fresh round after round. If you haven't played Zone Wars yet, okay, let me try to convince you. When it comes down to it, most players lack the experience and skills needed for competitive end games. I get it, I understand. They're tough and it's hard to keep up with what's going on all the time. But that's all the more reason to practice with Zone Wars. Too many of the points in arena and tournaments are given out during the end game. So, if you're trying to rank up, knowing end games are crucial, guys. If you practice in a closed environment like Zone Wars, you're gonna react to real end games much more instinctively. When each round starts, you spawn in a random box on the map. You pick up your weapons, rearrange your inventory, break out, and play like it's the end of a match. A piece of advice we can give for winning zone wars, all right? Play the zone. Don't worry about the box fighting people or getting into build battles every time. We're not saying that it's bad to box fight in zone wars, but too many players focus on it obsessively and end up losing sight of more important objectives like surviving. <laughs> Instead, focus on things such as tunneling, you know, staying ahead of the storm, looking for ranged kills, and taking high ground when it's available. You know, basically, play for your life, not for your enemies. There isn't much else to say about this one, but most of us have played the older version and know about it already. But until the LTM comes back, which we hope it does, know that Vortex for Chapter 2 is released and it is ready for you to enjoy. 
Up next, some of the best 1v1 practice you can get in the current meta, Lunar Peter's Customizable Box Fighting. You know, on the surface, there's nothing too complex about this one. But what's actually really cool about this map is that you can customize the size of one of the arenas. Meaning, if you like a bigger arena to give yourself more room, you can do that. Or if you like to go back to a smaller room for a more intimate experience, you can make that adjustment too. All in real time and in game. Simply shoot the height and width you like for the customizable room and you're good to go. Instead of spawning in a room like the other box fighting maps, you can pick how you want to start here. Prepare by covering the ground with floor pieces connecting to the ramp. You gotta do this every time, but it's worth it as it makes it super convenient to reset after each fight. Simply destroy the floor piece attached to the ramp and all the builds in your room will collapse. Once you place the floors, one player boxes up anywhere and the other tries to kill them. Pretty simple, right? Basically, it's your typical box fighting scenario. After every kill, you can swap up roles or keep things going. You know, it's totally up to you. Since box fighting has been dominating the meta for the past few seasons, you know, this is the practice a lot of pro players have been defaulting to. Insane players you all know and love like Tfue, Clix, Benji, and even Mongrel. It's been their go-to, either solos or with their squad, and for a good reason too. It's 100% the most importing fighting method you guys should be getting to know, all right, for chapter two. Even spending 10 or 20 minutes a day in these courses, it's gonna make your skill level like skyrocket. Yes, it's gonna take time, it really is, and commitment to really make this improve. But that time, I guarantee you, if you spend that time, it is totally worth it. You're gonna start dominating players with ease, picking up more wins than ever. Most importantly though, you're gonna show all of your friends how crazy you've become at the game. <laughs> Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed this video this is the motivation guy your friend the one and only keith allen like i said before keep grinding keep going nobody can stop you no one can get in your way if you put your mind to it you can do the impossible make sure to connect with me on my instagram i would love to hear from you and you know we really hope you enjoyed this video today don't forget to use code pro guys when you make any sort of purchases it really helps us out and we really do appreciate it comment what you thought about this video and what you like to see next we aim to bring you guys daily quality content so do us a favor by liking this video subscribe to the channel and show pro guys some love for bringing you this video. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.